There we go. Let's get out of studio mode there. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is it. The final countdown. This is this is the end. The home stretch. Exting turn four. To see the checkered flag up ahead. That's right. We've got uh, two hours and ten more minutes to go uh, before we complete our 25-hour venture adventure here. Uh, for Extra Life, raising money for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, playing games for 25 hours. What have we done so far? What have we done so far? Well, we kicked it off. Um, Friday afternoon, November 3rd, 4 p.m. Eastern Time with Stronghold Kingdoms, Island Warfare Mayhem. Then we went into Star Trek Online uh, at 6 o'clock. Atlas Reactor followed that at 9 p.m. Then we popped in to see Skylines for the overnight hours uh, from 11 p.m. until 2 a.m. or thereabouts. Of course, everything is approximate as everything. And after Sea Skylines, we got into a little bit of competition here uh, with a Rocket League from 2 to 4 p.m. And then uh, Tasmanian Devil's Brew, one of our friends from uh, Stronghold Kingdoms, joined us for a couple hours with golf with your friends from uh, 4 to 6 a.m. And then we took a little break time to uh, showcase the story of uh, Zion Harvey and how he uh, became the first successful uh, pediatric recipient of the world's ever first ever war in the world double hand transplant and of course after uh, we got some breakfast freshened our shells up a bit uh, we jumped right into clone drone in the danger zones for some twitch mode trolling for nigh on what turned out to ended up was going to be two, like two hours two and a half hours turned out to be about three and a half hours or so in fact we went so long that uh, we ended up having to drop our trove with special guest star Aaron uh, segment there from 9 to 10 a.m. but which is all right Aaron wasn't really <laughs> ready at that point in time to be on camera anyhow so it all worked out and then we just wrapped up our four hour uh, extravaganza in Guild Wars uh, doing some daily missions and then uh, uh, with uh, Fury Heidi aka Kat Kumi who uh, joins us as a regular in uh, our live streams uh, throughout the uh, days and weeks and then uh, jumped into one of the elite areas uh, the Fisher of Woe for a couple of hours there uh, but now this is it uh, this is the end the final game uh, that we will be doing today uh, the Lord of the Rings online one I just uh, one I just got into the game is now is, is cele celebrated its 10th anniversary this year but finally just uh, finally just had a chance to get into the game um, had some time to do it uh, just this year and uh, it's fun it's uh, you know something a little bit different um, along the lines again another great IP that we all know and love for the most part anyway let's uh jump right into it you know we got uh two hours seven minutes and 49 seconds left to go so let's uh jam pack it with a jam pocket yeah jam pack it i guess yeah something to that effect with some great uh tolkien entertainment and hopefully hopefully in the next two hours we can hit our goal of uh 450 dollars before we end the stream today that would be awesome sauce but regardless 405 dollars that is awesome uh just as well the most i've uh, raised in a single year uh thus far my fifth year of doing extra life and we've got the five t-shirts there plus our wonderful i love chop the children's hospital of philadelphia t-shirt and of course gotta always give thanks to our streaming community twitch kittens as well who has an extra life team as well and of course our team judgment gaming who is only uh we are only 200 and no three yes 310 dollars away well less than 310 dollars away technically speaking from our team goal of two thousand dollars uh so let's get on with it let's um let's do this here let's uh pop on over here and uh let's uh pop into landamore here who we did for um uh we what did we do when did we do lord of the rings uh, did i do this for 100 days of gaming no no i just did oh that's right i just did for one of my regular streams this past saturday 
just one of my regular everyday Saturday streams for massively multiplaying, which we try to do every Saturday or thereabouts. Every other Saturday because of you know my work schedule. But uh, popped in here and did uh, some harvest uh, harvest math celebration here in the Shire. And I just want to pop into him real quick to see if I can get him home. Now the Shire was a long way off from where he was. And we got to get him back on track because he is part of our uh, Lord of the Rings Online Adventure a Series uh, Fellowship of the Elf. So here we are in the Shire. Oh, that's, oh wow, it looks like we can still do some of the Harris Crest. Nanigans is here. Chicken in the middle. Haha. <laughs> now that is not it. But it is quite interesting. Oh yeah, no, look at that. Okay, here they are. Yes, we can uh, we do have access to the cellar door. The haunted burrow. That is interesting. And all these quests here. But I think that will have to be for another day. If that day ever comes, or we'll just have to wait till next year. Little pile of silver scraps. Okay, so what I want to do here is uh, find my way home. Bunch of scholars, bunch of strawberries, dirty filth. Okay, that's just lovely. And the dwarf trousers. Oh yes, that's right. We don't need the dwarf trousers anymore, can we? Light hide. So it looks like this stuff is more or less crafting. And that kind of good stuff. Crafting consumables. A dirty ear. Lovely. Fantastic. Just what we wanted here. Light catapache. Strawberry. We'll go here. Potent bird seeds, spider leg, oh yes, uh, gross bugs, pouch of ethylian essence fragments. We'll pull you down here, we'll pull you down here. Uh, the mail, because we got to deliver that vintage, and of course, there is our uh, pumpkin festival mask and overlord's helm. Small ear, a dirty ear. Okay, lovely. Okay. Rejuvenation potions, mushrooms, lemons, crumbs, some celebrants, essences. Okay. A haunted burrow. Very tree, Bree land. Boyne's Hall. Okay, so we are in Shire. Party tree in Hobbiton. Prefer <laughs> Ale Association, so that is part of it. And uh, I don't see a way back home. Interesting. All right. So we might have to take a long ride back to uh, wherever we, we wherever we were at here. To Eridluin. You go back to Eridluin. Where were we? Tweeland. Oh, Thorn Hemsteads. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we are here in uh, Slendim. 
Now let's see uh, see how much a uh, ride back to Soledim is. Sir, and I can stick around. It's like this. Okay, let's get our regular helm uh, back here too, as a matter of fact. Huh? <coughs> there we go, okay. I gotta find the stable master here. Alright, he's down here in Hobbiton. <coughs> you know what? Mounts are uh, mounts are on sale here too. Come to think of it. Uh, curiosity check yeah uh, see what these prices look like here shindy six oh account these Riding skill might be the one to go with them. Find your shadow facts. Mounts. Let's see what mounts we have here. Minus Ithala. In fact, we got 20 right now. Well, that doesn't help us too much now, does it? Deed of Rivendell. Okay. Well, let's go here. How was uh, Aaron here stream? Well, not never. Oh, no, we, um, yeah, we didn't, we weren't able to get her on. Uh, turned out that we, we got, I get so called up with uh, the clone drone in the danger zone uh, Twitch mode. Um, yeah, we actually had, I had people coming and going and, and interacting with it. So I, I, I swear, okay, let me go a little bit longer with it. And then I had um, some some people who had come up and made their own maps. They, you know, start coming into to to play. You know, and, you know, the tro they troll, troll, quote unquote. Although the one one guy at the end did, did, did end up trolling me. It was it was a hot mess. But uh, quite enjoyable. But yeah, ended up that uh, I decided just just to stick with Clone Drone because it you know the, it was going so well. Um, and then it turns out Erin wasn't even dressed at that point anyway, and uh, she did have her rehearsal, her confirmation rehearsal uh, at eleven. Uh, she had to be in, which you know it wasn't a big deal because you know the church is you know seven minutes down the road from us. But, you know, she wasn't dressed. She wasn't ready. I figured, you know, Clone Drone was going so well. I said, ah, you know what? It'd be more of a hassle to, to switch over, get her down here, get everything set up, and and, and go uh, just just for that hour that we'd be able to do it. And I figured, ah, I might as well just stick with Clone Drone. Everything was going good. It, it turned out very well that way. But, yeah, she, she's been on stream with me before. She's uh, We actually uh, we co-hosted... Um, a couple of, uh, she co-hosted a couple of streams with me on, uh, on I I think we did on the Extra Life for Kids channel um, over the spring 
uh, back uh, when they were announcing the the Extra Life bundle for Trove. So, yeah, she's been on before. In fact, she, you know, I had her on last year when I ended up, uh, you know, I, I usually put her on for Trove, you know, to play Trove the last couple of years. Uh, just so I can take a break and actually actually nap a little bit, but yeah, so yeah, she's used to it. She she doesn't mind it at all. Where is the horse rider here? So, but yeah, yeah, it would have been nice. It would have been nice if I had planned it out better and 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 had and had everything ready. Had her ready to go beforehand and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, the Easter egg coloring one. Yeah, that was one. Yeah, yep. Yeah, we did that one too. I wanted to do one for the, our pumpkin carving, but again, it was just like we didn't even have pumpkins until. Um, did we have them Halloween? No, we we carved them on Monday. Yeah, Monday night. Yeah, we ended up carving them Monday night, so we didn't have pumpkins till the day before Halloween. So it's like, yeah, just just so much going on. So maybe next year, maybe next year. I definitely want to do like say the the egg coloring one again because that that was fun, that was fun to do that and then you know get get better plans in place to do at least the pumpkin carving one. I'm trying to think if there's any other. I guess there's no other holiday where we you know do something to that effect. No, yeah, it'd really be Easter. Yeah, it'd really just be Easter and Halloween that we... So, let the, well, wait till next year. I'm sure I'll have Aaron on at some point, too. We'll be doing something together. Okay. Uh, So that does not help me. So I assume the needle hole is the one. And uh, that would take me to Erdlewine. So I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm just going to have to do the good old-fashioned huff it on foot here. Okay, that is, uh, so we don't need that in the tracker anyway. Alright, let's add that to tracker. So I'm not exactly sure that it's in uh, Eridluene. Add the tracker, gift for a friend, add the tracker. Alright, there we go. So we've got that anyway. The apple doors. Is the bog? Oh, I broke my leg again. Unbelievable. Oh, and I got the biting gnats coming after me. Hmm. 
10 years old so this came out in 2007 which is actually, actually this this came out the same year that vanguard saga of heroes came out too didn't it i think vanguard came out in 2007 a couple years after uh a couple years after um the original guild wars Yeah, it's one thing I, I, I do regret is not uh, putting enough time into Vanguard uh, when I had the chance. It's had some very interesting concepts, especially with the diplomacy uh, option. But unfortunately, Guild Wars, Guild Wars took up a lot of my time during that time. And uh, what are you going to do? It says no more. We can't go back anymore. No. A bit too much of a spin there. Founder of the Free Peoples. Yeah, there are a ton of quests all around. It's amazing. All right, at least we can discover this guy anyhow. Hending Gamji. Oh, How do you, what do you know about that? All right, good. This will at least uh, get us to Dudland. Wow, five silver. Let me see here. If I had more than 40 silver, I, I wouldn't think twice about it. That gets me to drool in there. Mine as well run. Mine as well run. Save the silver for now. My elven legs will be able to carry me afar. What I do want to do is uh, get into uh, my burglar Oddbrook, my hobbit here, which I started for 100 days of gaming. Really, let's run this way, shall we? Yes, we shall. So where are we at on the map here? So we're heading up uh, the needle hole. As it gives us a, a good opportunity to admire the scenery, the countryside here between Edward Luin and the Shire. Tell you those horses look good. Hmm. All right, let's head on into Erdluin. I still have Discord up. There we go. And everything's been good too. I only had to close Discord that one time when I was doing. When was I? What was I doing? Oh, that was during Atlas Reactor, is what it was. I only had to close Discord out while I was doing Atlas Reactor, and after that, everything was fine. Quite incredible. because I think I opened it back up when I started City Skylines and uh, it's been going ever since just like us so we've been going even longer 
So yeah, I am working on now. So let's see, I got up a little after 6 a.m. Friday morning. Tried to take a little bit of a nap right before the stream, but that never really worked out. So I'm working. I, I think by the time I'm done the stream here, we'll, we'll be pretty close to being uh, without sleep for 36 straight hours. That wasn't too bad of a walk. It was only a few minutes. Let's see if we can get uh, more glimpses of the landscape here. That was early stream somewhere. No, uh, no, no. I just um, no. I had just gotten up um, just to get right because uh, I had to take Aaron to school in the morning. But just to, just to you know get ready, get showered, get breakfast, and, and just start prep work for the stream. Uh, you did have a good lineup of games on your toughest times: Rocket League and golf. Yeah, that that helped. Um, that definitely helped. It, it, I, I, I was dragging during Guild Wars, which I, I sort of suspected would happen. Um, but yeah, even even during Clone Dr even during Clone Drone, I was so pumped, you know, with, with having everything going the way it was going. But then I think Guild Wars just came back, and you know, Guild Wars is more okay, more of the laid back. The, the adrenaline was gone there, so I, w I was really fading during Guild Wars. So. Uh, things to think about for for next um, next year. I was I was even joking to myself. It's like I, I should probably try playing uh, one of the truck sims <laughs> and see how many times I fall asleep at the wheel and crash. So I have to think. So yeah, it, definitely yeah. Because um, the, the the two times I really really dragged during the stream were during City Skylines, and Guild Wars. Of course, City Skylines again just laid back, just you know not much going on, just kind of a relaxing thing. So I might have to uh, rearrange how I. Uh, yeah, this is where I want to be. How I uh, do some stuff here. Or how I do these games. Because, you know, see, like, see, like I said, you know, I did all, the ga all the games I picked here um, have been games that generally bring in, you know, more, more than a couple of viewers for me when I stream them. Um, so, you know, I sort of went along that lines. It's like, okay, what gives me the most potential to bring, you know, bring some people in? So, we're going to have to, we're going to have to figure that out how we're sort of going to work them to get through those overnight hours and get through these ending hours here now. So, it's, it's easier now that you're here and I have somebody to talk to, too. Not that I didn't have Cat to talk to, but it's just like, oh, oh. I was just wiped, completely wiped. Oh, I missed that. Let me go. I, I'm pretty sure I have him discovered. Let's go see. How far can I zoom in here? I can't zoom in anymore, can I? Uh, nope. It should be not too far from you. It should be right up here somewhere, it looks like. Oh, you know, this is where... Isn't this where we were at? Let me see here. This might be where... Uh... Greetings to you. There's gates. 
The fellow Thorn Homestead's needle hole. Alright, so good. We've got some stuff. We don't have that discovered yet. Like you told you, you got enough trolls trolling you. Yeah. <laughs> you would have real time. Real time eyes closing and crashing instead of game eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I still have a hang like even now I still have a hanger it's like I, I gotta hop in behind the wheel of the truck and it, it's amazing oh, oh, no I wasn't here was I I don't think I was here um you you wouldn't think that that something like train simulator and and the truck sims and Microsoft flight sim and the farming sim you wouldn't think they would be compelling enough the way the way a lot of people talk about games and stuff like that and like oh this is so boring you know this is so boring you know the game is so old you know it's 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 not compelling it, it, no, no challenge stuff like that but it's it's oddly no see I wasn't here I was I was like uh, um, Caridween or wherever it is. All right, so I do have to go south. But it, it it's oddly compelling. You, it, it, it's amazing just how simple and just, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I mean, you're driving the truck, the game is boring. <laughs> I mean, when, when you think about it, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a, you would think, you know, it's, when somebody considers a boring game, that's what you would think of as a an example of a boring game. But it's it's not it's 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 it, it it I can't even describe it. You know, it's just how compelling it is to want to be able to. Where the heck am I now? Oh, okay. I'm going. I'm missing the path here. Who don't likes it? Uh, it tells it's boring and repetitive. Yeah. Well, yeah. Obviously, you know, some people would consider. You know, yeah, it's a matter of opinion. Opinion, I could get the words out here. Those that sees every aspect of the game keep playing it. Yeah, I mean, there because there's there's challenge to it. There's the 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 challenge of being able to accomplish something like well, the my my last video for 100 days is the Euro Truck Sim, and I opted to take the challenge of parking the rig myself. And, you know, and, and from start to finish, even from start to finish, from getting the rig out of the parking lot, you know, my challenge was, can I do this without, you know, bumping something or getting into an accident or, or, or going off course so far? And, and I managed to do it. And to me, that was exciting. I was excited to be able to actually have a, a what I would, you know, a perfect run for me is what I would consider it, you know. So, and to me, that was that was great. So, it makes me want to go back and play again. And see what uh, how else I can challenge myself. So, it, 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 I guess it's all in a matter of what where you see the challenge in a particular game. This, this has got to be an invisible portal here. Because I think I've gotten stuck in certain in this right right in this spot here before. This this got to be an invisible portal between uh, boundaries here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's right. The new the New Mexico uh, DLC comes out. Yeah. Nice. Yep. See now and and now like especially with uh, with American Truck Simulator, it 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 sort of I I get you know I want to say, well I, I want to get back out west again and and just 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 see you know obviously I. I it's not going to be like Google Earth or anything like that. You know, I, you know, at best they've only, you know, sort of, I want to say, I guess, estimated what things would look like and what the areas would look like, which, which is fine. But, 
you know, sometimes you, you know, I'm sitting there driving. It's like, man, wouldn't it be cool if I could go to this actual road? And and what I see in game is really what's out there in real life. So I got a hankering to go back out there and drive some of the roads again, and just just to see, just to see uh, what, what the feeling is like. I guess. Same well, over. Bring no strife to this place of tranquility, or our displeasure will be apparent and swift. Ooh. Nasty little elf you are. So here we go, right? All right. Back where we started. Back where we started over a week ago. Killing Deem. So uh, let me head on up to, uh, to our account storage here and drop off what we need to drop off. And uh, we'll hop into our burglar, burglar Oddbrook here. I guess it never rains here, because cause why would you have books sitting out here in the wide open when they get room in the rain? They look on Google Maps and uh, decide what routes they will implement in the game since the map is on scale. Yeah, yeah, ob yeah obviously it's got to be on scale, otherwise, yeah, it would be... <laughs> it would be a boring game at the end of the day, I guess. To, to actually have to drive a four-hour route and then it have it take you four hours to actually drive it. Yeah, that's the work. But yeah, I mean, I mean, when you, you know, all things considered, when you scale things, obviously you have to leave things out and stuff like that. But you know, especially which which makes sense for them to do something like that out west. It makes it a lot easier because it, it's just big, wide open expanses. You know, pretty much not. There really, there really is nothing but desert desert and 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 wild uh you know i don't want to say wildlife but just pretty much desert in in that area in between in between cities so it's easy to condense that uh kind of stuff and still make it look like yeah this is exactly what it looks like when you're going down this stretch of highway I think that's what always compelled me about some of that stuff. I think that's what always compelled me about some of the MMOs and stuff like this. Especially Vanguard Saga of Heroes. It always compelled me that when I first got into to Guild Wars, first first time I popped into Guild Wars and played it, and I said, wow, this, it, looks, it looks so real. Yeah, everything looks almost like you, a real place that you're going to go there and be there. And then, then you look at games that are even more photorealistic, like Vanguard was. When I first popped into Vanguard, it's like, you know, the dirt looked like real genuine dirt and stuff like that. Or, as, you know, as much as possible for the time, you know, when you're in 2007, when you're looking at stuff and you've never seen anything that close to reality before, it looks so much even more real than maybe it would, you know, 10 years down the road, but... Uh, yeah, I think that's what always compelled me about some, about some of those games too. It's like, okay, I just want to see, you know, be able to go in game and see what I see outside my window every day. Oh yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's not possible to do it as real as uh, as you know some of us would like, I suppose. Oh, you know what? I think my vault is full, isn't it? I would have to add some space here. 45 silver pieces. Okay. Or I could go with... Uh, how much is it to add space with the uh, mithril coin? Uh, 195. See, I, I don't even know what... Uh, Motro points. <coughs> Here we go. So six hundred for eight bucks. So what was that? Um, wow. Two hundred bucks. Wow. Twenty-three thousand mithril. That's a lot. Well, it's a bloody lot. So, figure was it six hundred? Is eight bucks? So, what was this? So, 
so half of so four bucks would be three hundred. It's a little less than four bucks for vault storage. Ah, I mean that might be a little pricey. Uh, out of curiosity, let's see what the mountain war steeds go are going for. Black Desert Online. Yeah, yeah, I know that, that's the problem now. Like same with the uh, Players Unknown Battleground. I, I, I might be able to get away with playing it, um, but there's no way I'd be. I know there's no way I'd be able to stream it. I, I just, I just can't foresee myself streaming it now. Right now, I mean, but it's funny though. I, I used to not be able to stream Rocket League um, the last few months very until, until like a month or so ago when I did some some house cleaning on the PC, but. But even Overwatch, even after that, Overwatch, you know, Overwatch, I think, is the one game I've encountered so far where I just had too many problems where I just, I just can't stream it well enough to make it worthwhile. So that's a thousand. So we're looking, we're probably looking about 15 bucks for a mount. That's okay, so that's average, that's typical. Yeah, Black Desert Online. It's uh, I'm trying to think. I, I I've heard. It. I think I may have seen it. So I, I'm thinking. You know, I'm thinking shooter to to me. It's, uh, for some reason, it's coming out shooter. I don't think it's a shooter or anything like that. I don't think it's like anything like the Call of Duty. But that, that's what's confusing me. I think it's it's more of an RPG type MMO. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, did I miss a rate? Oh, we're raiding Lacey. I should raid her, but uh, let's get going here. Well, to get to moving here because I want to get into my burglar baggins, so to speak. Here, yeah, that's right. Okay, hmm. capacity not available. Hey, okay, so. Oh, that's right. That's my quest sign behind that. They, they fooled me last time, too. Ten chests with no room uh, whatsoever, huh? So yeah, our main chest and chest one is what we have available right now. Each chest holds 15, I think. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 14. Yeah, so essentially each one holds 15, yeah. Right, we levels? Well, ah, we'll see. We shall see, man. All right, so good. We're back where we were at here, which is uh, which was my uh, main purpose here. So what we want to do now is just pop into our hobbits and uh, get a little game time in on our hobbit here. <laughs> 